Hello Libra and welcome to your September 2019 tarot and astrology reading. Your tarology reading. So this month is a very big month for us Libras. Uh, we are basically shedding our skin. We are transforming. This is our time. Even though it's Virgo season, it's like already also kind of technically Libra season because I mean, just the myth behind Libra and Virgo and how Virgo and Scorpio were first and Libra, you know, was came in afterwards to help balance out the light, the purity of Virgo and the dark of Scorpio. So Libra is that midpoint between the two, keeping them from literally chopping each other's heads off and balancing everything out, right? And so as we move through Virgo season and get closer and closer to our season, we have to get ready like it's a whole damn it's like a whole damn thing right like we have to get ready and we can feel it and we can feel ourselves planning organizing all those virgo things are coming to light from our subconscious you know we are literally shedding our skin um we are transforming and so we can get that beautiful harmony that is brought in Libra season. So we can be alive, so we can be the host, right? Everyone always refers to, to Libra as like the hostess of the Zodiac. So that is what is going on. Um, but because Virgo is the sign behind Libra, it can bring up some fears, some insecurities. It can be bringing and, and digging those kinds of things up to the surface, some, some hidden things you didn't know about, some secrets, um, some other realm type shit, like some weird, uh, just some weird stuff. I've been having a lot of weird, unexplainable things happen. Um, seemingly like spirits just chilling around my place, you know, all of that great stuff. Um, and I've already felt the organizing because with Virgo um, in the 12th for Libra and even if you're not a Libra rising if you're a Libra sun you can relate to this even Libra moons may relate to this I'm a Libra sun and totally related to everything that I was seeing and, and all the notes that I took for Libra and a lot of these notes are astrological but they're also intuitive like things will come to me intuitively when I do these notes for each sign um, which is why I do them so I can keep my thoughts together right because you ever been in an air sign's head it's not very fun right it's it's pretty fucking messy so um basically libras my beautiful libras um we are getting our shit together this month like we are even if it doesn't feel that way it doesn't feel that way because you're not looking at it that way you are being transformed right now you are dealing with all of the baggage basically that is left over from the last 12 months and that is coming to the surface you are seeing how much you've grown and how much things have changed since last October since our last you know our last season and the 12th house will bring up many interesting things many dreams um, weird dreams as a matter of fact um, and, and just any subconscious things any subconscious wounds or thoughts or whatever that that still need to be worked on or healed in some way so you may find yourself just kind of dealing with things from the past that you thought were put to rest but they're like kind of not you know what i mean um and you may find yourself thinking or saying things out loud um like subconsciously like not subconsciously but like your subconscious is almost talking through you, right? And so it's really important this month to pay attention to those things, to pay attention to the details, to pay attention to your dreams, to pay attention to your workplace, right? Because towards the uh, middle of the month, we have the Pisces full moon. So we're ending this huge cycle that we've been going through since uh, March of this year when we had all that Pisces energy and that crazy ass Alice in Wonderland Pisces Piscean month. Um, so we're ending this big cycle. And what does this cycle have to do with? It has to do with work, our daily routines, our health. Are we taking care of ourselves? Are we organized? Especially when it comes to our work life. Um, it's about getting more organized and, and letting go of messy habits that no longer serve us. Like um, whether that's to do with our health, our daily routines, our day-to-day -day life, uh, all of that no longer serves us, right? 
So that those are the things that we are kind of rolling into already that you probably already feel, you at least feel probably one or two of those things already happening in your life, right Libra? Um, some of you may feel all. I know I feel all and I'm a Libra sun, so Virgo is not even technically my 12th house, but uh, I feel I feel it already and it's, it's insane. Um, so, too many cards. I'll take this one. Ooh, perfect. Everything that I've been seeing, door to personal healing and happiness. And then we have journey. Oh, and then we have the first chakra, which is all about fear and insecurity. It's all about our survival instinct and our natural instincts, right? And so we are moving on, right? We are about to start a whole new journey right? So let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Um, we're about to start a whole new journey and, and this journey is going to be for us to be more aligned with ourselves. All of the rainbow tints and colors in these cards is really about aligning yourself, aligning your chakras, aligning with your soul, which by the way, Libra, if you didn't know, um, I have a new online course for soul alignment and spirituality. It's a super interactive course um, and we do a lot in there and you get a lot for joining. You get more than the course for joining. You get like many personal readings um, each week and even more than that. You get chart readings for the new and full moons, new and full moon rituals. Um, we're also going to be learning astrology, basic astrology in the course starting in September. And September, we are going to be talking about empowerment, self-love, beauty, and all of that. And then once we get into Libra season, it's going to get really intense. It's going to get really deep, and it's going to get really transformational. And some of the Soul Tribe members are literally already, like, changing, literally. And it's, this course has only been going on for a month, and I already see amazing changes every day and the soul tribe it's a wonderful amazing group of people we have in there right now so definitely go check it out if you're interested libra but anyways back to your reading so this month it's about the small things the little details the little details about yourself and you may notice that if you're trying to rush through this month and that normal chaotic air sign go with the flow all over the place unorganized energy you will find yourself very frustrated, very stressed, very frantic. Trust me, I know, like I've already experienced this and we'll get into that in a little bit, but you have to take this energy one step at a time. You have to focus on the small details or you will leave your keys at home or you will leave your, you know, your phone somewhere or you will leave your card in the freaking gas, in the gas thing. Like I did that today. Like it, you have to take it slow. You have to take it one moment at a time. You have to pay attention to the details this month because that is where you will find most of your answers, number one, and also your healing and also the transformation that we need right now to move on to the next level, to move on to our season and our solar return and all of that. So just really try to do that. Try to get your head organized this month. Try to get your conscious and your subconscious to match up a little bit more and ways you can do that. I was actually telling Leo this um, in July. So ways you can do that is like uh, basically if, like when you wake up in the morning, um, you're kind of like in this in the subconscious part still. And then when you go to sleep at night, like when you start dozing off, um, you can also get there by like deep meditation and stuff, but also just watching your actions and watching how you react to things. Like trying to step back a little bit and be like, whoa, like why did I just say that? Or why did I just instantly do that or feel like I needed to do that? You know what I mean? Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands here coming out reversed, and we have the Seven of Swords. Not so beautiful energy, Libra. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it looks like there could be some kind of block going on or communication blocked or some kind of delay, and the Seven of Swords is the thief in the night. So someone could be... You could be suppressing some secrets, and that's another thing that may come out this month, Libra, is... Uh, some secrets that you did not want to come out. Um, some secrets about yourself or some behaviors of yourself. And like, this is the thing, like if there's certain things about yourself that you don't like, you have to learn how to be able to make friends with those parts and coexist with those parts. Cause they're still you, you can't suppress them because the more that you suppress them, 
the more that weird shit like this happens and then you start attracting other people like the mirror image of that behavior in your life basically right until you incorporate and learn how to work with that behavior pretty much so if you have some weird shit going on or if you have a person in your life that is just all take 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 and you can't give anymore maybe it's time to kick that person out of your life you know I mean what goes around comes back around with that eight of wands reversed and we I think understand this more than most other people do right what goes around comes back around it's a work in progress it is sticking to the more mature path, the more level-headed path, the more stable path, the more secure path. Because some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. Some of you are walking away from someone like this or uh, some kind of behavior or old thing that you've been kind of suppressing. I mean, it's, it's progress with the Knight of, of Pentacles here. It's not going to happen fast, you know, because we have two things indicating it's not going to happen fast now. The Eight of Wands reversed and the Knight of Pentacles. Someone could have stolen something from you or got over on you or something along those lines with money in the past, Libra. And it's like what goes around comes back around. So just be ready for it. I don't know why, but the second I sit down to read, my nose starts going crazy. <laughs> like all day long, I do not touch my nose. And then as soon as I get on camera and start reading, it's like someone is just sitting here, just like, it's like there's like hairs like constantly poking my nose anyways um so we have the four of cups coming up next as well um some of you could be in a situation where you're suppressing something and you feel stuck you feel like you're not seeing the way out right now but the way out is through right the way out is through stability, through being stable and secure for yourself because no one else can do it for you. It may feel like they are, but it's not a true sense of security. Um, and it can be hard, Libra. Like, it's, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was that person my whole life. Oh, wow. Woo, Libra. A lot of major arcana here. Wow. Wow. Okay, I don't know how I cannot take this. So then we have the moon card coming up, which makes sense because towards mid-month, we do have the Pisces full moon and the moon card in the tarot is Pisces energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. So we have earth and Pisces energy so far. Then we have the queen of swords, right? So it's almost like some of you are going to be embracing these dark truths. Some of you are working on trusting yourselves. And I think this Pisces full moon is gonna be big for you guys. Something that you've maybe been avoiding is going to come to the surface, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. So then we have the Queen of Pentacles here also coming up after the Queen of Swords. So it's almost like this, you know, you guys are having a conversation or you're having a conversation with someone. I really feel like if this isn't another earth sign in your life, and it's not the same earth sign as we have up here, right? That's taking their time, that's moving slow. Um, some of you guys are also bored or complacent and you feel like you need some kind of adventure to spice things up. But anyways, um, other than that, if this isn't some kind of earth sign friend or something, um, then this is basically you. You understanding that you do have to be stable and secure for yourself. You understanding your own self-worth on an intellectual level. Some of you guys are starting your own business or already have your own business and things have maybe been a little bit chaotic or a little bit hectic. If it's not your own business, then it's just work, right? Some of you are telling someone a secret towards the mid-month that has kept you trapped for a very long time time right with the devil coming up here so now we have capricorn energy now this earth sign friend that's coming up i don't feel like it's a lover i feel like it's a friend um if it's not you then they could be a capricorn or some of you guys could have a lot of capricorn in your chart we then have the emperor which is aries energy some of you guys could be um working with someone to 
work on some kind of trust issues that you guys are having um, with yourselves or with someone else or some kind of secret or some kind of suppressed energy. Could be working with a doctor, um, a friend, a fatherly figure, um, a therapist, a counselor, something along those lines. I don't know why that's just the energy I'm getting here with the emperor. Um, and then we have the six of wands and then we have judgment and then the hanged man and we'll stop there. Um, I will say that this is a huge perception change after which a bunch of like some really quick news is coming in like fast news. Um, so that's probably towards the end of this month or even going into Libra season. So definitely let me know how that works out. But with judgment and the hanged man, this is like a total surrender, a total reboot of your perception, the truth coming out, right? I mean, it's amazing energy, really. Now, for some of you, this has something to do with your reputation, something that could have happened in Aries season for some of you. So um, April, March, April, because Pisces, I did talk about Pisces season earlier. So that's weird. That time frame keeps coming up. Um, this is really interesting, Libra. I'm getting a lot of different stuff here for different ones of you. Um, some of you could be exploring issues with your sex life, um, issues with abandonment, issues with trust, like I said before, issues with manipulation, issues with um, feeling stuck, trapped, complacent, or bored in a relationship or in some area of your life feeling stagnant. Because there's a stagnancy here and then there's also a sneakiness here, right? With the Seven of Swords um, or some kind of behind the scenes stuff that's going on that you may not even recognize right now, right? Because we have the four of cups here. It's like the universe is trying to get your attention. And I really think that this full moon coming is going to do it. The Pisces full moon happens exactly on the 14th of September, but it may be even a little bit before that, that you feel this energy or even a little bit after that, that you feel this energy. So um, I'm going to put this down so you guys can see your cards and then um, we are going to uh, basically you have your oracle cards up here too don't forget and you'll be able to see them better in the extended bonus reading as well as we clarify each of these cards over on patreon that's only five dollars and you get all of the extended bonus readings every month for five bucks and you also get love readings that I do monthly as well along with weekly horoscope posts and early access to all of my YouTube videos you get to see them before they actually are public on YouTube. So you get a lot and then you get even more for signing up for a little bit more than that, but it goes back and forth. So um, definitely go check that out if you're interested, patreon.com slash Tawny Michelle. So I'm going to read you um, the notes that I took here. You guys, I took a lot of notes for you guys because I was feeling so much while I was writing, like more and more things kept coming to me. A lot of it's intuitive, but a lot of it's also astrology. So I don't want you to think like, oh, I just intuitively made up that this month is all about things that are hidden. Like, no, that's because Virgo is the sign before Libra. So it would be the 12th house for a Libra rising. So that means, you know, the 12th house is about things that are hidden, even hidden enemies. And a lot of you guys could definitely be dealing with career and reputation stuff as well towards the end of the month, right? But I feel like whatever happens, I don't feel like it's that bad. You're seeing things for what they really are. Like, yeah, you may have some issues with some people, but if they're, if they're your friends, right? Like, why would there be an issue, right? If they're people that you want in your life, then why would there be an issue? So yeah, you may, the news may come out some kind of news may come out that that you feel like okay like you're not my you're not my tribe like you're not my you're not my vibe i gotta go deuces you know also i was talking i forget who i was talking to this about oh i think i was talking on it on twitter us libras can have a tendency to like just have a bunch of pointless relationships just hanging around um, I don't know about you guys, but me as a Libra, because I like to keep the peace and I don't like confrontation, I like to keep the balance and the scales and all of that, I don't tell people to fuck off when I really want to tell people to fuck off, right? And I mean, yeah, you could be like that as a Libra, maybe you have some Aries or some Sag in your chart, but 
I don't have a lot of fire in my chart. So I'm very kind of like passive and I'll let people talk to me, whatever, and I'll respond nicely. But, you know, it'll just be like a pointless conversation that happens way off more often than it should because I can't just be like, okay, where is this going? Why are you talking to me? What do you want out of this? This is a little weird. We're never going to talk. We're never going to hang out. Like, what the hell? And um, lately I've been kind of doing that. I've been kind of finally putting my foot down and being like, okay, what do you want here? Like, where are we getting to here? We're, you're saying the same thing over and over. Hey, what's up? Not much. How are you? I'm good. That's cool. Okay, now what? Like, it's going nowhere, basically. So um, I just, like, kind of noticed a theme with that in my own life. So maybe you guys have too. But anyways, so like I was saying, Virgo is your 12th house. So this can bring up insecurities. Um, and also this inner, crit like, critic of yourself. Um, and others like this inner judgmental nature of yourself that you may not really realize that you have that often, but um, it's it's more of like a subconscious thing that you're doing and you could be projecting that onto other people and this could be really coming to the surface for you. So that's something to also pay attention to this month, Libra. Like how hard are you on yourself? How much pressure are you putting on yourself? Can you take the pressure that you are putting on yourself or do you need to go a little bit slower and be more practical? Um, are you doing something that you just know is not what you should be doing or that is causing chaos in your life or just causing a mess like this is messy right here right this is getting your shit together but not really wanting to or not really seeing everything the right way so i mean i'm just saying um anyways so this is understanding and realizing that anyone critiquing you may be actually pulling something out of you about how you feel about yourself subconsciously or even what you may do to other people subconsciously so make sure to pay attention to this like i was saying what goes around comes around so when people come by you know pay attention because it may be reflecting something in you that you don't want to see necessarily libra so just pay attention to that anyways um so this is also understanding that you create your own reality and any fears or insecurities that come to the surface are there for a reason. So it's time to slow down and work on yourself, working on crafts or your skills or um, projects, etc. is a very, this is a very good time for that. And you may even be doing it a little bit like hidden, like a little bit alone behind the scenes, whatever. So anyways, um, Pay attention to the details in your dreams. Um, I mean, like I've been having just crazy dreams, guys, and, and none of it makes sense for my Leo rising, but it makes perfect sense for my Libra sun when I was looking at your guys' astrology and I was like, holy shit, this is why all of this is happening. And this is why I always say like, okay, so Virgo is your 12th house and then a bunch of people will be like, no, it's only your 12th house if you're in a Libra rising. Like, well, no shit, I get that, but it's still, the house right behind your sun. It is the 12th house from your sun as well. And that is still going to aspect your sun in very similar ways as well. So you can still resonate with this, even if you're not just a Libra rising. And even if Virgo is not your true 12th house, like it's just another way to look at it basically. Um, so yeah, I've been just having these crazy dreams, like tornadoes coming up everywhere. And tornadoes is like a huge fear of mine. Um, and just all these different dreams about tornadoes where I see them on social media, just like all this weird stuff. Um, it's just crazy. So then um, I have written down becoming more mentally, physically um, organized and aware of your surroundings. So like I had to buy a planner <laughs> last week and I love it. Like I love it and I've got it all organized and it honestly has truly helped me so much because when I have like a shit ton of stuff to do, it's just all bouncing around in my head and I'm just like, what and then i'm like running around trying to do it all at once like trying to do 50 things at once and then none of it gets done because i literally start it and then not finish it so anyways i thought i heard a weird sound and i was like oh god is the spirit back what's going on but now it's the dog barking anyway so yeah letting go of messy habits or practices that no longer serve you like i was saying before becoming more detailed developing a spiritual practice is a huge key this month for us Libras. Meditation practice as well could be, you know, a very good tool to work with. Organizing your workspace, making lists, becoming more aware of your subconscious goals, thoughts, actions, and especially how they affect your day-to-day -day life and your routines. Getting into a routine, getting into a sleep routine, 
um, becoming aware of your subconscious bad habits, not sacrificing your whole life for work, which has been something that's been very, very, very difficult for me and also something else that's been coming to the surface. When I was taking these notes and stuff, I was just like, holy shit, like I'm doing all of this and what the hell? Um, so yeah, it's developing a schedule, developing a routine for ourselves because like we will just throw ourselves into work, especially if we're passionate about it. You know what I mean? And so it's kind of this balance of not doing that, spending more time to yourself and really developing a self-care ritual or practice or routine as well. So um, then, we, then I have using spiritual practice for your health, helping people in need or a spiritual retreat. Any of those things can come to the surface this month, or you can use a lot of those things to incorporate into your month to help you, Libra. So for the Virgo new moon, and the Virgo new moon is happening in our 12th house, like I was saying, um, it is going to be trining Uranus in Libra's eighth house. So some very intense downloads, I think, or answers or um, whatnot, fears, spiritual info, deep subconscious stuff coming to the surface, hidden answers or secrets. Um, this need to really break free of things that have been holding us back, right? Things that have been holding us back, this need to like break free. But if you're gonna do it, just do it. Don't sneak around and do it. You know what I mean? Like you might as well just do it. Anyway, so this need to like really break free of that, um, hidden answers or secrets, new skills, projects, or news about finances, business, or possessions and loans, sex, and past lives. So all of those things can be coming up around this time, uh, Libra. And the Virgo new moon is uh, tomorrow. So I'm filming this the day before the Virgo new moon. It's actually like tonight in the middle of the night, but it's technically, it'll technically be happening after 12 a.m. So it's tomorrow. Anyway, so hopefully I get this up by then. But anyways, the Pisces full moon is happening on the 14th, like I said earlier. And this is going to be our um, ending or culmination point of letting go of your bad habits, your health routines um, or schedules, your bad habits, health routines or schedules basically. Um, learning lessons about pointless relationships, like I was saying before, unrealistic relationships, schedules, letting go of merging with um, your coworkers or goofing off too much with your coworkers or really just when I, when I say merging, I mean like putting too much into, you know, like almost like where you feel like your coworkers and you have to like, like just really get to know each other or like almost become like somewhat of like a little family. And like, I used to be that too, like that too at jobs and like I would get so, like my feelings hurt so bad when people would like throw me under the bus or whatever to get ahead or blame me or just treat me like shit. And like, I could never do the job thing, like working with other people because it was like so difficult, like for me, like emotionally and, and intellectually, I was like, why are you doing this? Like, why are you being so mean? Like, why can't we just be best friends? Like we work together, like we're a little family, like, no, like, it was very hard for me to just go to work and be all about my work and, you know, especially if I wasn't passionate about it, like, you know, and so it's different now. I love working by myself um, and not dealing with anybody else um, over me or, you know, the same level as me trying to get over me or whatnot. Um, so yeah, anyways, just something I also put down. So I really think that this new moon is going to be like the, the, the kind of kickoff point and then the full moon is going to be like the practice test, right? Um, or not the practice test, but the actual test, like where you learn the lessons. And I think it's like, you know, going to be building up as well. So, um, yeah, this could be being too trusting of people at work, which definitely could be what's coming up here. Um, a test of faith lessons, bringing out your own fears and insecurities. Um, this could be a relationship that's developing at work and something coming out about that, an illusion you had about work, health, et cetera, or a delusion that you had about all of that can get shattered around this time. Um, avoid escapism around this time. Let the truth be revealed. The feelings that you may feel about this will not last, Libra. You may feel a bit exposed or as like, like, like your hidden things kind of came to light or whatever, just embrace it know it's a part of you and move on. You know what I mean? The best you can. And I'm telling you the emotion, the emotional intensity around the Pisces full moon will not last. So try not to make any big heated in the moment decisions around that time. Try to just kind of let it all happen. You know what I mean? So 
Then we have Saturn going direct on the 18th. It's been retrograding in our fourth house of home, family, and private life. So we have been putting in the work <laughs> and dealing with delays, like tons of delays when it comes to our home, our family, our private life, our intuition, our emotional life. Like we have had to do a lot more work in these areas since Saturn has been retrograde at the end of April. So when Saturn goes direct on September 18th, we will see that work pay off. So that's very awesome. So let me know how that ends up going for you guys down below. Um, then on September 28th, we have the Libra new moon as we get into Libra season. And um, I think if you are anywhere in the beginning degrees of Libra, so I would say up to maybe 10 or 15 degrees, I forget where exactly. I think this is happening around five or six degrees of Libra, but I could be totally wrong. I know it's happening in the beginning of Libra though. So I would say anywhere around 10 degrees of Libra, if you have any of your personal planets or any big placements there, you will be feeling this new moon the most. So definitely um, keep a lookout for that. And we will talk more about that next month. But anyways, you guys, Libra, I think this is probably my favoriteest reading that I filmed for Libra, at least that I can remember right now because is favoriteest even a word? I don't know, but I really love this reading, you guys. I mean, th this reading is very, interesting but it's all about growth it's all about finding your personal power and success you know what i mean your own truth and not giving a shit what anybody thinks about it um and it goes just beautifully with the astrology notes that i've written this was a very intuitive reading as well guys um so I'm gonna be going and clarifying all of this over on Patreon, so definitely go check out Patreon down below. If you do sign up and for some reason you don't see the video, the Libra extended bonus for September right away, just wait, it'll be there, like literally probably the same day you sign up, maybe an hour or two or something. I'm a little behind on readings right now, so I may not be able to get the extended bonus readings up um, at the same time I get the YouTube readings up. So just bear with me, it will be there and we will clarify the hell out of this. We'll also be doing your love reading for September. So I love you Libras and I hope you guys have a good month. I really, really, really would appreciate it if you commented down below and let me know how these predictions end up turning out, if you've related to any of them already and how your month goes. And um, feel free to come back and watch at the end of the month and see how much it resonated because I'd really be interested to know. So I love you, my Libra loves, and I will see you guys either over on Patreon or in my other videos. Bye.